we went to synagogue three times a year. Um, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and when my parents were feeling guilty. <laughs> I remember my shul experience as a kid, I hated it, detested it. <coughs> Go to synagogue was standing up, sitting down, standing up, <laughs> sitting down, shaking about, Closest I've ever got to go into a And then there's that weird bit in the middle where everyone mutters to each other and it's like, can we sit down again? Do you have, do you remember in Canada, I don't know if they still exist, in England they had what we called the shush man. Member of the community who takes it on his, yeah, exactly. Member of the community who believes it's his responsibility to tell everyone to shh. It's like, and as a kid, it's a nightmare. It's like, ah, shh. But I wasn't taught, shh. <laughs> then you think, oh, I hope there's a mitzvah because at least there'll be good food. <laughs> All I can tell you, by the age 21, by the time I came to Israel, as a good assimilated Jew, I knew more Christmas carols than I did mm. Jewish prayers. Without doubt. A little down at Bethlehem, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> A few beers I do the lot, a few more beers I do in Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting at is as follows. For me, understanding what a Jewish state is, was a state, was only once I had kids. Come to Israel, Mazel Tov, meet my wife, Mazel Tov, get married, Mazel Tov, have twins. And then, you cut that, had twins. All I can tell you is, is as follows. It's weird, suddenly you suddenly realize when you have your own kids, because they're like, there's big decisions, like, who are they gonna be? Because they're molded, effectively. So first of all, it's like, it was weird. I remember like, bringing them, one of them in. By the way, babies, it's a myth. They're not that good looking. They're sort of like pink and squidgy and too much bodily fluid. Um, I hate it when they say, oh, you look just like you. It's like, I don't look. <laughs> walk, in the, walk in the front door, holding one of my daughters. Suddenly, a little hand comes out, kisses the mezuzah. It's like, no way. Yeah. Walk back out, walk back in. I said to my you gotta see this. Walk out, walk back in. <laughs> my wife, remember they're twins, we have two. I said, go on, bring in the other one. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> when they're toddlers, say toddlers in Canadian, right? Yeah. 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 So little kids, what's their idea of a night out on the town? Is taking all the pots and pans out of the kitchen cupboard. Climbing in the cupboard, shutting the doors, and making your parents panic. <laughs> the same way I grew up in England, assimilating to Christmas carols and five shopping days to Christmas, <laughs> they're absorbing Jewish culture. Last week they come home, uh, not last week, when was it? Uh, probably a couple of months ago now, because they're in the summer holidays. They come back and they said, uh, Abba, yes. we have homework. Okay. We've got to write about Parshat Shavuot, the biblical story of the week. This is the Christmas carol singing, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> All I can tell you is thank God for Google. Parshat <laughs> Shavua, what the hell, enter. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting at is as follows. What they're doing is they're absorbing Jewish culture. For me, Israeli by choice, a Jewish state is that we do Jewish. We do Jewish. What do I mean? We don't do Christmas, we do Hanukkah. We don't do Easter bunnies, we have Passover. Where are you from? Toronto. Where in Toronto? Uh, young in England. Okay, so when something happens to Jews there, good or for bad, it's a headline in an Israeli newspaper. Why? Because we're a Jewish state. In other words, we relate, not as friends, you can be my friend, you can be my Facebook friend, you can book me later. <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm getting at is, we're not friends. Yeah. We're not friends, we are we're family. When people say Israel is the home of the Jewish people, it's that. It's a place which is always safe. I'm sure most of you don't live at home with parents. But it's a place you love to go visit. All right? It's a place which is safe. It's a place which is familiar. It's a place where your roots are. It's a place which you will always look back to. Hold on, how many of you would say a Jewish state is a state with the majority Jews? There should be a majority of Jews in the country. That should be a definition of a Jewish state. Not, no, it's not the only definition. Oh, one. Part yeah, one part. How many of you would say that Jewish state has to be in the land of Israel, which is historically where Jews came from? We talk about Jerusalem, etc. 
Now, here's the issue. If you look politically at this map, and for 20 years I've been trying to put this into a Star of David, it just doesn't work. So you've got the cross. Jesus. <laughs> the left versus the right. The left in Israel would say, if you put up your hand twice, i.e. you want a Jewish majority and the biblical land at the same time, you can't have your cake and eat it. 